I'm Andrew Seal, otherwise known as Rebel Soak, and you're watching Anchor Shop TV. We built tiny cities where the ground was too hard to grow. Yeah, uh, it's it's been like a, a huge like growing opportunity, I guess. You know, like you you kind of you work your way through like this mass of bands, and you just you meet so many different bands, and you kind of get to know a lot about the Canadian scene. But at the same time, you uh, you get to grow as an artist as part of this like massive growing beast of uh, Canadian music, right? So I, I'd say like especially festivals in general like they give me exposure to a lot of people that I don't know if they get out to the shows as often it's tough it's tough uh, it's tough being like a Toronto based band at a Toronto festival because uh, you're really you're competing with a lot of like international talent and stuff uh, so to get people out I guess um, I hope a lot for like word of mouth and 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 sort of uh, working with different artists to kind of uh, cross promote um, I've been fortunate enough to be on like audio blood showcases so that's cool that draws a lot of people just sort of the the idea behind audio blood but um, really you just you kind of just hope that like uh, I like doing several shows during them because like hopefully the first one kind of gets people engaged and gets them coming out to other ones throughout the throughout the festival like little acoustic things or, or press leading up to it anything like that. Um, but, it, but it is, it's incredibly challenging to kind of stand out within it all. Yeah, it differs from year to year. Like, uh, I think it's important um, not to talk so much about yourself if you don't have a lot to say. So uh, I think uh, timing-wise, it was weird. Like, I kind of released uh, the EP shortly after Halifax Pop and Pop Montreal. So I'd done that. And then I kind of had this like area after all that, all this festival time, where I just had something to release. And now it feels like uh, it's it's been a bit since I released it, so it's hard to to kind of um, talk about a lot and promote it and and uh, and do a lot of interviews surrounding that stuff. But I think it's it's incredibly invaluable to like to like seek out opportunities to network with people and meet people, especially during music weeks. Everybody's kind of stuck in the same place, right? We they're they're so important like uh, I, I mean the other half of my life is working as a journalist so like I I kind of spend most of my time on the other side sort of working at uh, you know uh, studying people writing about them and, and seeing the way that press is received it, when it comes to the artist side like it, it's so invaluable to have somebody who can kind of help keep you on track and keep you from falling to pieces in the middle of, like this this mass of music so yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I, I think it's a huge draw to it, like, uh, I, I don't want it to be so much a crutch, but, like, I, I want to create weird music and interesting music, because that's the sort of music I listen to, so, uh, so the loops kind of complement that and allow me to kind of build that, that bigger band sound and, and that sort of, uh, it's, I guess, akin to, like, a, a mini symphony, just to kind of, uh, stand out, you know, and it, it's, for me, it's 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 more interesting to stand up there uh, and 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 sort of build these complex arrangements surrounding what I'm doing. It's 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 a huge part of the process, and it's definitely I think what what will bring people out to catch it over, like typical singer songwriter. I think I go back and forth. Like I think it's uh, it's I think it's the same when you're in a social situation where you. Everybody has these like odd sort of, uh, I guess, nuances to their personality, and uh, and and you want those to stand out when you're meeting people. And it's kind of the same thing with the music. Like, I want that weird uh, aspect to kind of define the music I'm creating. But uh, and and yeah, I don't know. I, I've thought a lot about like uh, how to temper myself at times. But the creative process sometimes, I'll, I'll a song will stop at a level like that where it's where it's. Uh, it's weird, but I know it's going to be something that, you know, where people aren't going to be bored by it. It's not too out there, you know. But at the same time, I'm not opposed to, like, 
pushing it as far as I can go and, and people kind of respond uh, differently depending on where I am playing and, and who I'm playing to. I don't know. I think uh, it, dif it differs based on the artist. Like, I think, uh, not to sound pretentious, but there's like specific things I want to say and I want to say that in like four songs or I want to say that in seven songs. Um, I haven't gotten to the point where there's like a... a something a, a body of work that i i want to release as like a 12 song record i i've just found more um comfort and enjoyment in the f like the fast paced like four song ep and i know that like people's attention spans obviously change but uh or are changing rather uh so we're i feel like we're getting like it's a lot harder to hold people's attention but i think if i had like uh 12 songs that kind of patched together that i wanted to create like a full body piece with then i'd I'd, I'd do that. It's You get to see the business side of it, which is uh, kind of uh, steals your innocence pretty quickly. And uh, you start to think about all these other mechanisms that like make the... It's, uh, I think uh, all, not enough um, musicians sort of treat their, their music, or, or they think it's wrong to treat it as like an, an entrepreneurial, entrepreneurial endeavor. Like it is a business you're running, so... Uh, I think that was kind of the shocker, like, was to, to go from just being like, oh, I can play this here or do this here, to, like, looking at it as something that I have to, like, you know, keep, keep as a business. You know, you got to apply for grants. you got to, like, you know, connect with people. What is waiting for the tide? What is waiting for the tide?